But I can experiment with writing some, like if I have an idea in my head or I'm getting some feedback, I can write some scripts that run inside the browser and change certain things in it. Like for example, the adjusting all inventory items down to zero started as a script that I wrote. Okay, a script that I wrote, but the chat GPT wrote for me. So if you happen to be experimenting with scripts, and I will be creating some content around this, I put it on YouTube in terms of how I build scripts, you can add your own scripts in here and you can see how they work when you run them. So let me give you an example of, of a script uh, that I wrote. Somebody went in there and told, somebody in the, in the Facebook group went in there and said, hey, when I'm in the sales screen, is there a way I can see uh, transactions are under a certain dollar amount? Okay. Uh, so I wrote a script that says, uh, th that says uh, transactions below a certain dollar amount. And I'm going to put here, let's say 50 and then press okay. And then the script, okay, the script did work this time. Great. Thank you. And it just went in there and it just removed all the rows that had anything that was above uh, $50. You can see that in there. You see it right there on the, in this case, on the, actually. Uh, or well, and you might want to filter first on, uh, is it paid or is it open? Yeah, I think. yeah, let's just do invoices and let's do, let's say, open invoices. That might be an easier uh, sort of uh, use case. So, um, so let's say, let's do it again, below $100 and click OK. OK, there it is. That worked. Um, so it's just an example. OK, and again, I'm going to be building scripts in here. I'm going to be loading them in here. And these scripts at some point might become right tool actual features. OK, the point is, that Mark actually built this for me so I can add my own scripts. And just to give you a general idea for what the, for what the scripts uh, uh, look like. And again, this is getting like wonky into like nerdum. Uh, however, like, you know, like at this point, I come to the realization that uh, like I need to learn how to do programming. I don't know if I'll be able to learn that at 42 years old, but uh, I'll try that. But this is what the script looks like, okay? And then, and I didn't, I don't, I don't know what any of this stuff means. I mean, I'm starting to learn a little bit of what it means, but generally, like, I, I couldn't write that uh, myself. Um, and as a matter of fact, I think Mark even helped me change some of the some of the uh, text in this. But you can have ChatGPT help you write some of these things and experiment with that. Again, we'll go back to that. For the average user, it's probably not even that important. But I'll show you another example, something that. Uh, Mark and I have been trying to tackle for a while, then we're having a kind of a tough time with it, is um, to speed up the printing process. This is one of the things that just, it's so annoying in QBO, how many clicks you have to do to print an invoice, for example. So this is the current state of QuickBooks is to print an invoice, I have to click on printer preview, then printer preview, two clicks, okay? Then in this screen, I have to, let's say I want a PDF as well, I have to click on download to get the PDF, then I have to click on print one more time to take me to this page. Okay, so it was like so many clicks to go to print. So I wrote a script in here. It's it's uh, and I'll let's see. I'll just show you what the script looks like. Again, it's Greek to me and Greek to everybody else, but that's what the script looks like. Uh, and then when I when I come in here, we go to uh, download and go to print. So in a single click, what I programmed it to do is to download the PDF as you see it over here and then speed up the process and get me right into the print page. Again, you know, I, again, I'm negotiating with seconds at this point, but that's the theme of write tool, right? It's supposed to save you seconds. So at some point in time, we would love to uh, implement a sort of a quick print uh, feature that's built into um, write tool as an actual feature. For now, if you go into scripts, that's in there, okay? So, I, so that's a, these two things are two actually uh, working scripts. So as I create more scripts, I will make them public. We will add them in there. So if you ever want to go into script writing mode, you could add your own scripts in there. Yeah, and this is something where um, there's really two reasons behind it. One is if you have something that's a feature you really want to get done, but you're like, I don't want to wait for Mark to do it, <laughs> and you can find a programmer who can, uh, then you can do that. And then also maybe one day possibly – for features that we're not like 100% sure about implementing, we can put it into like a, I wouldn't say a store, but like a database where people can kind of copy them in and be, bring their own scripts so they can be like, hey, these are features I specifically want. So oh, a, com a community a community database of yeah. like scripts, that would be amazing. Because you would literally be helping us make right tool better, right? Because I, so this is like, 
you know, the, the closest thing to like an open source API type of stuff that we have, which, which is, you know, if, if you can write it in a script, in a JavaScript, and it, and it runs on your page, you know, you can share it with us, email it or whatever, and it'll be in there. It needs to be JavaScript, and it needs to be something called bookmarklet format. So it's very specific, you know, it's a JavaScript and bookmark, bookmarklet format. And again, I will be creating a video in the next couple of weeks kind of explaining how I stumble upon this and, and, and how this works so you guys can test this um, on your own. So it's, uh, it's, 